Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Naomi and thanks so much for clicking to watch another video. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna be doing a lock style that I really, really love for the summer. It's kind of similar to my updo like high ponytail, but it makes two ponytails. If you're wanting to see how I achieve that style, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take this ponytail out. I was doing stuff around the house and I had this ponytail going to get this out of my hair so let's start off with I always want to start off with like damp hair or sprayed hair you never want to work with like dry hair um I sprayed my hair this morning it's about eight o'clock at night <laughs> well yeah it's like 8 15 at night so it is definitely dried since then so I'm just gonna spray it with my rose water all over Right, now that I'm working that throughout my hair, I am actually going to do um, like a variation of like the barrel twist that I always end up doing. <laughs> I feel like I can't get enough of those cause it's like, it's super easy. Um, but I'm gonna do the barrel twist <clears throat> um, going up in two ponytails and then I'm going to probably make a bun out of them. So I washed my hair Sunday y'all and puffy roots are back. Puffy roots are back, look at them. Okay, anyway, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Let's get into the style. So I sectioned off my hair and like the front and back. So kind of how I had my ponytail, I'm just gonna section my hair from front to back. And I have like a part going across my head to make it easier. That's just how I parted my hair when I started my locks. So. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm sectioning my hair into front and back. So I'm going to section the front off. Hopefully you guys can see that part. And I'm just gonna use a ponytail holder to get this out of the way. And I'll come back to this section of my hair once I'm done with the back. Ooh, stick, okay. Ooh, stay. Okay, so now that I have that section off, I'm gonna work with the back and I'm probably gonna turn around. Hey guys, so I'm at the back of my hair and what I basically wanna do is try to part my hair in the middle. Now, if your hair is um, like neater than mine, then you'll have no problem trying to like make a straight line in the back, but my parts are not really even <laughs> or anything like that. So I'm just gonna do my best to pretty much find the middle of my hair just like that a middle line doesn't have to be perfect but there's my middle line like that and so I'm gonna work with a section at the at a time and I'm just going to secure this portion out of the way so that I can work with this side over here so we're gonna do pretty much my usual barrel twist I am just gonna brush because I know this part might be a little a little nappy right there in the kitchen but I'm just going to brush up this part just to make it look a little bit neater. Nothing too special. And then I'm just going to start doing my typical barrel twist and I'm going to go straight up in a line like that. And then I'm going to stop when I get to the top. So for the barrel twist, if you haven't seen any of my tutorials before this one, I pretty much take two locks. So just like that, these two here at the bottom. And usually when I'm in my bathroom, I'll lean my head down so that these locks will stay out of the way. But I'm not gonna do that since I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing. So I'll take these two locks right here. And then what I do is, maybe I'll use a rubber band to move the other hair out of the way. Let me do that. I'm gonna use a rubber band to kind of loosely loosely keep these out of my way okay so I'm gonna take start with these two uh, locks just right here and I'm just going to twist them when I had my hair retwisted um, like a fresh retwist this twist looked neater but I'm just gonna pretty much twist these two locks and these are gonna be the middle what becomes the middle of the barrel twist so then from there I'm gonna repeat this process and I'm gonna take one lock from this side and I'm pretty much just gonna cross over like that. And then take a lock from this side. It doesn't have to be in any particular order, but I'm gonna take a lock from this side 
and then I'm gonna cross it over this way like that and I'm gonna pretty much do that all the way up um, until I finish this section so again I'm taking a lock from this side over here and I'm crossing it over this way joining it in with this group and then I'm gonna take a lock from over here on this side and crossing it over and joining it up with the group as well so i'm just going to continue to do that until i am finished with this section and here is a combined lock as well if you guys can see this twist so i'm going to do the same thing just going to twist that over this way and join it and then take one from this side twist it over this way Okay, then now that I have um, barrel rolled all of those up into the twist, I'm just going to take a rubber band, one of my larger rubber bands, and make a ponytail out of this like that. And pretty much going to leave that just like that. So that's how that looks on that side. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing over on this side. Okay, so now I have both of my barrel rolls going straight forward done. Now I'm going to take this down in the front. And, ooh, cute. No, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> I'm pretty much going to split the front section. So this is the front section of my hair. I'm pretty much going to split that in half. So I'm going to, and this is... Luckily, this front section is already in half, so I'm just gonna separate that, not really do too much to that, but what I am gonna do is use my brush to kind of um, push, brush each section into the ponytail. So what I'm going to do is join this big section right here in with the barrel twist that I have. So I am going to spray a little bit more water like that. Now here at this step, if you do want to leave um, your side, like your side locks out or something in the front out, this is probably the time to do that so you don't have to put everything up into a ponytail. But I am going to put everything in a ponytail. So what I'm doing right now is I'm still working with the front section. So this is the front section right here that I'm working with. So I'm just basically gathering all of this up to see where I want to actually place my ponytail, like where I want my ponytail to be. So I think I'm gonna have my ponytail be about right here. 
trying to make sure it looks right too. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my ponytail be about right here. So I'm gonna take my brush again and just lightly brush up my edges. Y'all know I don't really use edge control. <laughs> so I'm just brushing up my edges and everything, trying to make it look at least as kind of as smooth as possible. And I'm gonna make a ponytail out of this. So now that I'm, I have, I pretty much have this, you guys can see I have this in a ponytail on this side. Now I'm going to join it with the barrel um, twist that I did. So now everything is in my one hand and I'm being careful not to pick up anything from that side. So like I said, I'm holding everything in one hand now. So now I have all of the barrel twisted hair and all of the front like loose locks that were in the front there and then i'm going to take a rubber band and if you want to like if your locks are super thick you can take an actual um, ponytail holder because it might be a little bit more sturdy than a rubber band if i had a ponytail holder i would use that but i'm just gonna take a ponytail holder and make this literally make this to a ponytail so i probably do two two loops Maybe, hopefully the point, hopefully the, uh, I mean, not the ponytail, the rubber band doesn't break. Now we're good. Okay, so here's the ponytail and we're gonna turn around so you guys can see what I was talking about with the barrel twist. See how I got all of that hair into one ponytail. I basically just joined it together. So super, super duper easy. Just joined it together and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna spray this section a little bit more like that and then start gathering the front half of this of these loose locks that i left gathering this up and then i'm gonna try to make it symmetrical to this side over here so i'm gonna also take the brush again and just brush up my edges Make them a little bit more smooth. And this goes to show you too, I have not taken any of the jewelry that I have out in my hair. Like, I don't know if you guys can see um, like the back of it, but I have like this jewelry from Jazz Inspires on um, Etsy. I'll leave her information below, but I still have jewelry in my hair. The shells are still in my hair. Like I haven't taken anything out. So you can still do it if you have jewelry in your hair. But I'm really trying to make sure this is symmetrical with the other side. So now I'm going to join everything from that barrel lock into the ponytail. So, and this might look tight. I'm not doing it tight at all. I'm just making sure everything is gathered up. So then I'm holding that tightly. But then when I actually put the rubber band on, it's not tight at all. So now I'm going to take a rubber band and secure this side. Okay, cute, cute. Y'all know what? I feel like, so when I, I just had this style in my hair actually like all week. And I feel like I had it in a bun. So I basically made two buns out of these. So I was looking like Mickey Mouse, like a little girl. But I actually like this style. This is more, this is more, I feel like this is more out there. This is more, I don't know. It's giving me like punk rock vibes or something. I don't know. Like it's more... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more like artsy, more free, if you will. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. More free, more, yeah, like carefree. And I actually like this. If you wanna just scoop a bunch of hair and then all I did was just make a circle. Like I just kept wrapping the locks around each other like that. And then I put a rubber band on to secure it. I probably use like two rubber bands to secure it. So I put one on and then I put another one on and it was literally just a bun like this. But I think I might leave it like this. So I guess you get two styles in one video. So pretty much the same concept, but you can make either these two buns or you can leave it just carefree like this. So if your locks stick up, um, if your locks are even shorter than this, I think that'll be really cute as well. So I like this. I'm not too mad at this at all. Give you guys a look of the back. 
super duper cute. It's all off of my neck, which is perfect for the summer. You can still see the little bear rolls a little bit. This is super duper cute. I love, I love. All right, y'all, so I hope you guys enjoyed this walk tutorial. Another updo style for the summer before the summer ends because it's sadly ending. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this style. If you do plan on trying this out, please let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Of course, if you are not subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it as well. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.